Hello everybody and welcome to another Apple Arcade game that has just been released. The game we will be checking out today is called Never Song, formerly known as Once Upon a Coma. Now from what I've seen, I know that the game is gonna have our character that's gonna fall into a deep coma. And once the character wakes up, he will find himself into a mysterious nightmarish journey, which I'm really excited to test out. Now I did manage to play the game for just about 2 minutes or so just before recording just to see what the game is all about and I already know that we'll definitely be enjoying this new side scroll puzzle and I really really hope that you all gonna love it as well as much as I do. Alright well without further ado let's just jump straight into Never Song and discover this beautiful story together. Let's do this. Let's start up a new game here. Alright so as you can see here this is the uh, one that I've played just a little bit so I'm gonna go with slot 2 here just to start up the new game. For live. Never Song is a moving story of loss and hope. It contains certain themes including traumatic death that some may find emotionally upsetting. To those who suffer, know that you are not alone. Please ask for help. Once upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was grey. Until he found a friend. One day, it was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening, they went looking for some place to play. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Rand at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. Oh my god, this story so far is so good. I gotta tell you, I got shivers on my spine right now. Loving this. <laughs> All right, there we go. And here is Pete. This is how we actually wake up from the coma. Huh. So what do we have here? Hmm. Apparently we got a door right here that we can activate. Uh, keep in mind, I am playing this on Apple Arcade, but I am using a controller because apparently playing this with the controller is the best way to go. So let's see. We got to press X plus X. All right. That's how you get the elevator going. Oh. Phone is ringing. Check voicemail. Hey, it's me. What? Okay, another door. Perfect. Let's activate that one. A game by Serenity Forge and Atmos Games. All right. This looks really lovely so far. I'm really enjoying this. Oh. Hmm. These are not working though. What? Alright, anyway, let's keep going. I, I'm not quite sure exactly what's up with those doors and why we cannot activate them. But, uh, let's keep going. Hmm. Developed by Eric Kerburn. What? A portrait. The word smile is scratched the parchment. Alright, uh, what about this right here? Apparently we cannot go to the right side, so, uh, yeah, I guess we gotta go here, activate this. Wait, what the heck? We're all the way back now. And apparently the clock is working this time. Now, of course, this game is gonna be really creepy because this is a nightmare, so... Oh my god, what the heck is with this guy in the freaking mirror? 
What? This is so freaking creepy. Um, yeah, this game is gonna be really scary. Look at it. Him again. What are these things? <laughs> Alright, so let's go with this again. Oh, you know what? I just noticed that this door has the letter S above it. So maybe we gotta write something with these doors? I'm not sure. But uh, let's keep going. Fortunately, these creatures in the windows here are not attacking us. Believe. What? Believe in what? Duh. Hmm. Can we answer the phone again? Is it gonna say anything else? No, same thing. Alright, so we got another door here that we can activate. So apparently we, up above we had S, this one is M. Oh, you know what? Maybe we have to write the same thing that we had on that painting. And that is smile. So let's go with S, M, I, L, N, E. Oh my god, what the crap was that? What? What the heck? That was so creepy. <laughs> Uh, good thing he's not coming after us, though. So let's keep going here. Wow. Alright, buddy. I have a feeling we are going to be start being chased really soon. So let's see. The painting is the same. The word small is scratched in the parchment. Alright, uh, so if you do this again, is this just going to drop us down again? Oh, crap. Nope. Something else is going to happen here, apparently. What? Never song. Look at this. This is awesome. All right, there we go. So we are back, and apparently this time we have four lives in the uh Top left corner though. Hmm, apparently we are gonna lose some health here. Not quite sure exactly what this is all about. Uh, can we jump all the way up there? No. Can we interact with the piano? What? Huh. Yeah, we definitely have to uh, sync something here. But apparently we gotta figure out the proper code maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's just keep going. Let's keep looking around here. Uh, so we got a chimney, and we got a picture with them, I guess. Pete and her friends. A cozy fireplace. Save game. Whoa. Okay. So apparently we can save the game whenever, whenever we we find a cozy fireplace. Interesting. What about the painting? <laughs> Booty bomb pals. 1952. Alright, uh, what about these things? Ah! Crap! What the heck? Huh. So apparently we can break these things. <laughs> we can jump on these things. I love it. Your dusty mattress. Ren's parents are so nice. Sleeping here beats the old orphanage caught any day. Hmm. So our guy is supposed to be an orphan, I guess, eh? All right, let's go through the door then. Oh, we got out of the house. Interesting. Redwind Village. Man, this is looking so lovely. I'm loving this. I'm not quite sure exactly what this is supposed to be. Although, if I look right here, it's it seems like it needs an umbrella. And maybe if I have an umbrella, I'm going to be able to use it in order to get to that platformer above there. I don't know. Uh, we cannot actually never mind apparently we can go through here hmm so this is definitely a really new area uh, I have a feeling this is actually gonna be the way to get out of the town or the city hmm I cannot really interact with that butterfly or whatever that is uh, can we go through down here no and apparently I cannot jump all the way at the top there so I have a feeling in order to continue the adventure through here I may actually need a bike or something that's gonna allow me to jump over this platform with speed, I guess. Yeah, I think we gotta go back. I don't really see how I'm gonna be able to um, 
progress this way. So let's just go back. Let's see, what do we have here? Huh. Man, the town here looks really gorgeous. I'm loving this. Uh, what do we have here? Another one of these things that we can knock down. Interesting. Something's written on the door in crayon. Read. This hotel is now the property of the exclusive Booty Bum Gang. <laughs> it's now called Booty Bum Clubhouse. And you can suck a big one. <laughs> Punky. What the heck? Alright. Um... Oh, and Booty Bum is signed as BB. <laughs> that is so good. Alright, let's have a chat with this guy. 1001, 1002, 1003. Hey! Oh, crap, not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. What? I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Why? Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. Why is that? My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. Mind your own business, dude. <laughs> All right, sorry. So, can I help you? 1015, 1016, 1017. Where's Ren? Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. How so? I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. Ah, dang it. They haven't been back since. All right, John. I'm sorry. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. After I finish counting, of course. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, so uh, this was weird. Uh, apparently, there are a lot of these locks around here. I see a golden one all the way at the top here. And there is a blue one here, so let's investigate this one. It's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. Oh, so we are going to need the gemstone in order to open this one up. I get it. All right, and this one is, again, a gemstone lock. I get it. Uh, let's get these two down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find anything in these things that I'm breaking around here, but um, anyway. Let's see. Hmm. Let's break this one as well. And apparently we do have some blocks here that we cannot get past by them. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna have to uh, get, a, get rid of them or not, but before I investigate any of these houses, let's just go all the way up here because I saw a guy that I could probably chat with. This guy right here. Hey, buddy. Hey. This is Chad. Hey, Chad. Sup? We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. What coma? It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Um, no. Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. Mm. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. <laughs> the slug wasn't worth it to you, I get the it. The slug? Ren's nickname? We all call her the slug. Oh. Okay. It started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Yeah. Not sure where she hid it, though. Okay, bye. <laughs> so apparently, I have a feeling we need to find Ren's baseball. I don't know why. Ah, oh, crap, I fell down. Hmm, although I'm pretty sure I cannot pass through here unless I give myself some kind of ability or something that's gonna probably allow me to grapple to that thing. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's see. Let's go inside here first. Hmm, I think this is a school? Redwind Barbershop. Oh, never mind. This is the barbershop. Uh, we have another one of these things that we can break. And is this the barber? Tristan. You're finally awake. My heart is full. What's up? I was about to adventure out to the Spiderian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. Where? That coma must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spiderian sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me, you, Ren, everyone! Right. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. Hmm. I heard him. Screaming. Okay, do you know where Ren is? Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, 
it is my belief that, well, um, go on. That your girlfriend is likely dead. Crap! Seriously. Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. All right, can you help me, Prison? I'd help you find her, but I gotta go check out the Spiderian sewer first. Crap. All right, buddy. Bye. Uh, let's see. Can we interact with the music? The jukebox is playing an old tune. The screen says it's called Mama. Make me happy. Huh. All right, it doesn't like we can interact with that. Uh, let's look at the table here. A message is scribbled on the mirror. Uh, reads, CGCGB. Oh, hold up. Maybe this is what I gotta play on the piano. So it's CG, CG, B. Remember our song, Pete? Ren. How did this get here? What? Wait, what the crap is happening? Alright, there we go. I'm um, not quite sure exactly what happened there. For some reason, my character got stuck. Um, not sure if that's normal or not. Apparently, we got ourselves some sort of a music instrument or something. A uh, music note or something. So, the song that we just learned is CGCGB. Um, let's see. Can I go back to the piano and play that on the piano? Let's just try that and see. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna have to try CGCGB and see if, it, if anything is gonna happen. Alright, and, and the piano should be... Actually, wasn't it inside here? Rent house. Alright, let's save the game first. Uh, save up. There we go. Now let's see, what's gonna happen if I put CG, CGB? So it's C, G, C, G, and B. C, G, C, G, B. Oh, there we go, that worked! What? Um... Crap. <laughs> this is really creepy. I mean, I was sure this was gonna work, but uh, I was not expecting a freaking secret chest. No way, look at this! We found her bat! The Red Wind Slugger. Ren's vintage baseball bat with a cracked leather grip. This thing is begging for a good whacking. <laughs> and apparently we use square here in order to whack stuff. What? That is so good. Look at this. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a weapon, uh, I guess. Not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with it. Um, we're definitely gonna have some enemies that we're gonna have to deal with. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's see, now that we got the bath. Uh, can we whack this? Oh, apparently we can hold up and whack. Hmm. Alright, so that is not gonna work. Although, I have a feeling if I try to whack... Oh, no way! We can break these? The lights? Are you serious? The pumpkins, even? <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this. We can break everything apart. Alright, let's break this. There we go. Uh, what I also want to do is... Let's go inside this... Oh, it's locked from the inside. I get it. Okay. Never mind, so I'm not going to be able to go inside there. Uh, in that case, can I go to the other house on all the way to the right before I do anything else? Let's see. Let's try to... Actually, hold up. Can I break these up? No way we can. So now we can venture off to the right side. Perfect. But first, let's go inside here. It's locked. Alright, buddy. Never mind. Uh, in that case, what I want to do is have a chat with this guy because he told me about the bath. Uh, so let's see, what's gonna happen if I tell him that we found it? Hey, hey what's up? What's up? Nothing, you? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about my parents. I miss them. Oh, really? Yeah, they've been missing a while. You ever heard of the booty bum water tower? <laughs> I have a theory. Dude, you're like ghost white. I don't think you can handle it. Oh, uh, come on. No way, dude. This story isn't for kids. It's for big boys. I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a zillion years older. Plus, my dad said I was his big boy, and he could beat up your dad. Oh, Not gonna happen, buddy. Now I miss my dad. <laughs> Alright, Chad. Talk to you later. Alright, so what I want to try is, I want to try to use my bat in order to hit that thing all the way up there. 
because there, uh, there is an X on that thing. So let's see if we can knock it down. Fortunately, we fell down, but that's okay. I am just gonna go all the way back. All right, so let's do a jump and a hit. Let's see if this is gonna work. Crap, so that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure what to say about this. I probably don't have what I need. Now that we got that open, I'm pretty sure we are gonna be able to keep exploring. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we are back. Apparently this is gonna be an exit out of the uh, town, Redwood Fields. Pete, oh, it's me, Bird. Wait, what? <gasps> you woke up! Hey, what what's up? I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. <laughs> you sound upset. I just saw Ren. Really? Yeah. A man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Crap. Um, let's go. Okay. Quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. Okay. Uh, so apparently I'm gonna be able I'm to free him. a little claustrophobic <laughs> in here, man. Would you mind? All right, jeez. Nice attitude, really. <laughs> the grown-ups are missing, and your best friend is kidnapped, and you're acting like a spoiled rich kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm loving the voice of this freaking thing. Apparently this is called a bird, but this is more like a firefly to me, I guess. Um, I think I can go all the way to the right side, but first, we may need to go inside the sewers, so let's just go do that. Oh, never mind. This is not an entrance, this is a fireplace where we are gonna be able to save the game. Perfect, now we can progress. Alright buddy, come on, let's go. What is that? A heart fizzle. If you collect a hundred of these, you'll get another heart. Oh, no way, seriously? But a hundred is a big number, though. Wait, what the heck is that? Is that an enemy? I think it is. Ah, oh, crap. That is definitely an enemy. And look at that. It actually gave us some of those stars. Interesting. What about this guy? Parkour. <laughs> Gomboisa. Hi. Up here, Pete. I see you. It is I. The mighty parkour ninja, Gumboisa, at your service. Seen Ren? Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. What? Um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad. So, yeah, I'm busy. Dude! <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, yeah, Ren taught me how to get on these. Egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. <laughs> Still trying to work that out. Really? Yep. Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made me these sexy magnetic gloves. Really helps me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa grips. All right. So I have a feeling we are gonna have to get these um, gloves from this guy, maybe, so that we can climb on these uh, eggs or whatever these are. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Oh. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. Meet us there if you want to help find his dad. Alright, got it. Interesting. So apparently, I have a feeling we have to find some more music notes in order to open up another chest or something like that. Uh, just so that we can get ourselves some of those gloves, I guess. What is this? What? Looks like a coma card. <laughs> These things are all the rage in Redwind. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit, okay? No way, so these are gonna be collectibles. That is awesome. The thing is, these are not gonna be just collectibles. Um, Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly what's happening here, what is supposed to happen when we're collecting these stuff. Because apparently the game is just glitching out. I guess it should show us that we are putting them in our inventory or something like that, but that's not really happening. Um, anyway, let's see. Let's keep on going. What's up with this guy? Hey, puke face! <laughs> Get over here and help me! I'm stuck! Simon. How did this happen? Isn't it obvious, puke? <laughs> I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. What can I do to help? Give me my sewing needle, puke fart. 
My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Uh, where can I find it? Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. Seriously, what spiders? What are you, stupid? Ever since your precious little wren went missing, things have gotten strange. So hurry up. If you don't give me my sewing needle fast, the spiders are going to bite my face <laughs> off. All right, buddy, I'm on it. Um, so where the heck am I gonna find that sewing kit? Can I maybe jump on his back so that I can push him down? Yeah, that is not working. <laughs> I'm loving the story so far, though. This is really good. Crap, the spiders again. Hmm. Apparently, they are afraid of us, though, so I'm not quite sure about what I'm supposed to say about it. Anyway, good thing that they are giving us health here every time we're... Crap, this guy's attacking. There we go, we got it. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to climb on these eggs unless we have what we need. So let's keep going. Come here, buddy. There we go, there's one. Ah, crap, he got us. Good thing that they drop a, a health, though, once you kill them. So if we are getting damaged by them, we are gonna be able to get our stuff back. Um, there's gonna be a lot of platforming that we got to do here though once we have the gloves but currently that is not a case uh, let's keep going let's keep looking around hmm there is a tree here and a bench let's look at the tree first Pete check it out in the tree is that Simeon's sewing needle seriously what the heck is he doing all the way up there can you grab it bird oh it did all right so that worked uh, I guess she's gonna hold on to it. Uh, next up, let's look at this. Ren's favorite spot. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what's gonna happen if I drop down, though. Which I definitely don't want to do right now. Let's just get this kit. Let's just get the needle back to that guy, back to Simon. And uh, maybe pop him out. <laughs> Help him out there a little bit. Get him out of that stuck position, I guess. Man, I love that this thing is throwing me so high up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use that to my advantage later on. Let's see, let's use it on this guy. My sewing needle! Give it to me, but fat face. Man, I really don't like Simon here. He's calling us names. He's he's a real jerk. Oh pop me! It hurts so bad! But you have to pop me! <laughs> Three, two, one! Go, go, go! Stab! <laughs> Alright, so we got him. Where is my guy leaving though? Oh, never mind. My controller keeps glitching out and keeps uh, dragging my characters to the left side, so I don't know what, what that is all about. Alright, there we go. Spiderian sewer. What the heck? <laughs> that was a spider that was dragging him. What the crap? Huh. Oh no, no, that just took me all the way back up. No, I, I want to go back. Alright, sorry about that. I definitely didn't want to go up. Uh, let's see if we can save this guy, though. Oh, crap. Seriously? Dang it. I'm not gonna be able to go and save that dude, unfortunately. At least not through there. Hmm. I have a feeling if I jump on this stuff down below here, it's just gonna... Oh, never mind. I thought this was just gonna damage me, but apparently that is not the case. There you go, buddy. Whoa. That thing had so much health. <laughs> huh. Alright, so we opened up that passage. Um, What about the one on the left, though? Did that open as well? It did. Huh. Well, I definitely want to find a way to save that dude. Uh, let's see if we can, though. What? That thing didn't drop any stars? Why is that? This one... either. That is weird. Um, hold up. Before we go anywhere... I think I may need to go all the way up here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know how to get up there. Um, anyway, let's just keep going to the left side. Man, there are so many passageways we gotta go to. That is crazy. Crap, this took a little bit of my health. We got it back, never mind. 
So this one doesn't seem to be working. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't know if that's going to take me up or down. Let's look at the tree first. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Hmm. It doesn't look like you can hit this tree, so... Anyway, uh, let's keep going up here. Oh, there we go. Huh. So this one is actually taking me down, not up. Hmm. There is so much stuff around here. I'm definitely going to get lost, though. Are you serious right now? Uh, so let's see. The waters are not killing me, which is not bad. What about this? What is this going to take me to? Oh. That is weird. All right. Maybe something's going to happen to the water, and if we, if, and if you're going to touch it, we're going to die. I don't know. Wait. What? Is that Ren? No freaking way. What the crap is that? <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know, but it's so freaky. It was that thing again. That thing had taken Ren. Don't be mad. I'm <laughs> just a child. But his wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving. And I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. The perfect treat. A snack like that is said to make your wrinkling skin look young again. Oh my god, this freaking creature sounds so creepy. Holy crap. Ah, oh, dang it, so he left, so he ran away. I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it. Oh, look at this. There's Simon. Help me, Puke. What I think she's hungry. the heck is that? Uh, you got it. Can I push him? <laughs> Hold up. Let's see what this is, though. Wow. This thing is horrifying. What is it? Theory. What? Um, never mind. <laughs> it's a little crazy. Let's just keep moving. Come on. You're going to think I'm insane? But I think that might be a grown-up. A grown-up? Yikes! So is that what happened with the grown-ups? Apparently I cannot really hit it or anything. So what's it gonna happen if I go this way? Hmm. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a dead end because I'm not gonna be able to climb up here. Unless somehow I activate that thing above. So let's just go back. Let's try to save Simon here. Damn, this thing is so weird though. Look at it. What the heck? Alright, anyway, let's keep pushing Simon. Let's get him out of here. So I'm guessing he's not supposed to be uh, going through the water. That's why we gotta use those bridges. Alright, so this bridge is active already, which is good. What? <laughs> Great observation. What? How dare you? You're kidding, right? You roll me through sand and expect me to be nice? What's your problem? I don't know. How about don't make me mad, idiot, and I'll be nice. No wonder Ren ran off and got herself kidnapped. She couldn't stand you. Hmm, you know what? I already don't like Simon. I may just leave him behind here to tell the truth. He's a real, uh... He's a real asshole. Let's see, can I push him in the water? <laughs> Alright, so I guess this is how you wash them. Question is... The thing is, I can use him in order to get to higher places, so... Huh. I wonder if I even have to do that. Um, you know what, let's try something, let's see. What? Why is he in the water again? <laughs> Can I jump on top of it and explore an area above? It doesn't look like it. Mama. Mama. <laughs> yeah, there's not much I can do to him, so never mind. Let's just leave him as is. Whoa. You know what? 
have a feeling that's a good way to uh, jump on that platform above. So let's see, what's it gonna happen if I push him just a little bit? No, no, not totally, buddy. I need you here. Alright, let's leave it like that. Uh, press this. Oh, crap. Hmm, so he's just gonna stand in my way. Let's try this again. I have a feeling I can make it all the way up, though. If I can try harder. Come on, and push. What? Why didn't that work? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can, I'm gonna be able to jump on the higher platform there, but let's just try it one more time. Crap. So that is not really working. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do this, so let's just take this guy out of here. Maybe I'm gonna need a um, better technique in order to do this. Hold up, can I also jump on this guy and hit those things? Hit, hit those blue things? Doesn't really look like it, so I don't know what to say about that. Alright, anyway. Um, this day just keeps getting. Let's keep pushing Simon then. Let's see, I know that we can use Simon in order to get on top of this platform, maybe? Huh. Yeah, it's not good enough. I'm not jumping high enough, unfortunately. Alright, anyway, um, what else? Hmm. So jumping up here is not gonna work. Alright, buddy. Uh, I think I can get him out of here, but what about this? <laughs> oh, you little smeared all over my jeans. Sure did. I smell like red. Such a pig fart. Just like Ah, wow, what's your problem? You. My problem is you. I've tried to be nice to you, but my patience is running thin. I'm done with you. Let's be friends. Really? Okay, sure. Let's be friends. Can I be your best man <laughs> at Ren's funeral? Okie dokie. Yeah, this guy is definitely gonna regret what he's saying here. Uh, let's just push him around. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta use him somehow. I'm not quite sure how though. Uh, let's see. So, apparently he's gonna help us get on top of the uh, school bus. That is not bad. Uh, that is just gonna take us up. How can I open this though? Hmm. Hold up, maybe do I have to hit something all the way down there? So that is not gonna work. Alright, Simon, uh, help me get up here then again. Because I need to have a chat with this guy. Pete! Hey, Pete! It's me! Gom Toddler! Hey, buddy! I'm playing a game of hide and seek with the big bro Gom Boysa. You seen him around? I uh, actually I have. Where's the F for F? Swinging in the field. God darn. He tricked me. <laughs> I didn't think he was actually playing hide and seek. Wish I could beat his butt. I'm sick of him tricking me. I could maybe if I had that bat though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? Oh. Huh. Oh. Uh, does he mean if I swing up and jump, I'm gonna jump higher? Yeah. Swing that bat. When you jump, oh. and you can go a bit higher like a cool kid. Thanks. All right, so apparently if I jump and swing. No, no, no. Jump and swing. Seriously? I don't see this working, so... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about, seriously. Alright, anyway, uh, let's just go down here and see what we gotta do. Come on. There we go. So, this one is gonna allow me to access whatever this is. Oh, look at that! This way we are gonna be able to uh, put Simon in the bus. That is awesome. Uh, let's get this back up. There we go. And now, let's go for Simon. Come on, push him. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, 
Alright, so let's see. What can we do here? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to wash him. I want to keep him dirty here. Because I really don't like this guy. I think I'm going to give him to the spiders. <laughs> let's see. If we use him... Oh crap, they're not attacking him. Seriously? They're just attacking me? What the heck? No, 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 no. There we go. Damn it, I hate this guy. I cannot hit because of him. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Alright, we got our health back. Perfect. And one more hit. There we go. We got it. Now, unfortunately, I can still not interact with these balls here. So I need some more stuff in order to get this going. Uh, hold up. Let's get this one destroyed. Alright, and let's keep going. Nest. Holy crap. We're taking this guy all the way to the nest, though. Which is really freaky. Um, hold up, before we do anything, I want to jump all the way up there first. Get rid of these guys. Alright, there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure... Hmm, if I go down there, I'm not gonna be able to get back to this guy. Oh crap. <laughs> what the heck was that? Damn it, that laugh was so creepy though. What the heck? Hmm. So where am I supposed to go now? Because apparently I cannot go to the right side and we cannot go to the left side either. So I'm pretty sure we gotta do something all the way up here first. Uh, Simon needs to wait for us here though because we cannot really take him with us. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to pass below so maybe we gotta go through here instead let's see can I push this yeah it doesn't like we can either push it or destroy it I may need a better weapon or something in order to break it anyway let's keep going let's keep looking around what the heck is this <laughs> this is definitely one of the parents though probably somebody's mother yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I think we can interact with that. That centipede thingy! Is it wearing an apron? <laughs> it is! <laughs> Alright, so this is a way for us to activate this lever. Which in turn activates the portal for us. Awesome! Alright, well now that we got this going, let's just go all the way back up. There we go, buddy. And now, we can jump back down here. And I think I'm gonna be able to keep on pushing Simon. I mean, I'm pretty sure we gotta take Simon with us, whatever we're going. I really hate this guy, but anyway, it is what it is. Look at this. <laughs> uh, oh, hold up, hold up. Can I maybe put, put this guy in the bubbles? <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Alright, let's go. Um, now the thing is, I have a feeling we should put this guy in sand as well. Oh, the thing is, it's really far away to get him back in the sand. So I don't know if I can get him back in the sand again. Oh, never mind. Actually, I think I am going to be able to do that right now. Hold up, hold up. Before we do that... Doesn't look like we have anything up here, so let's keep going. Let's see, maybe if I don't put this guy in the water and get him dirty with all the freaking stuff around here. Maybe... That's what I gotta do? So let's see, this is not gonna touch the water, which is great. Alright, and if I put him... Oh, okay, so this is gonna touch the water. I need to get this down. There we go. This time I'm gonna put him through sand. So he's gonna be dirty in absolutely everything. There we go. Alright. 
I have no idea if this is gonna work, but let's just take him back to that creature. Let's see if that creature wants to eat him now. Because if he is... I think this is exactly what I gotta do. Yep, look at that! It worked! Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> a treat! <laughs> I think this one is his mother. Um, what the heck? This is so creepy. Oh my god. What the heck? I'm gonna have to fight this? What? No! What the heck is he doing? There we go. I think I know what we gotta do. Yeah. I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. He's gonna have to attack me here. And now we can hit him. There we go, we got him. Jesus. What the heck was that? No, 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 no. So creepy. What the heck? Man, this creature is weird as heck. Come on, buddy. Alright, there we go, there we go, come on, come on, we gotta get him. There we go, we got him first. And apparently this is gonna be our first boss fight. What the heck? Damn, this is so weird. Crap, he's gonna be able to get us here. Or maybe not, never mind. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. I am loving the boss fight so far. This is so good. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves uh, another note, music note. Oh crap. I was dropping these spiders again, seriously. Come on, buddy. There we go. Alright, perfect. We got ourselves another music note, and we have one more to get. No, 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 no. What the heck? God dang it, I have two pals left. No, we died. What? All right, there we go, and we are back. Now we gotta get one more, one more of these musical notes. There we go, buddy. All right, come on, buddy, come on, attack, attack. Now this looks like it's some sort of a robot or something. Oh, it didn't give me the note though. What the heck? No, 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 no! Run, buddy, run. <laughs> His attack here is so weird. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. He's gonna try to get me again. Come on, I just need one more note. Just give it to me. There you go. Alright, buddy. Come on, get him. Alright, we got it. Holy crap. Snake Charmer. What? What the heck is this? Look at that. Apparently, we got ourselves another song. We learned a new song, look at that! We did, but the question is... What's the song? Because I don't really see anything. I don't know if this is a glitch or something for the game. Uh, because every time I'm getting a an object here, the game just stucks like this. And I gotta exit this screen, whatever this is. Huh. Dude, I'm so confused. <laughs> what are you talking about? Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard Gumboys talking about this a week ago. Looks like the grown-ups are turning into monsters. That can't be. Anyways, Gumboisa mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, 
But I think we need to wake them up to find Ren. They apparently know how to sing. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's piano. Wait, what, what, what is that song that we just learned? How do I, how do I find it? Because the game didn't really show me anything, and every time I'm entering this screen here, I don't really see anything, so I'm not quite sure exactly what is happening. Hold up, is something... Um, if I press escape, the game is glitching out, actually, it's not showing me anything. And it doesn't like we can press anything else in order to find this up. So, for some reason, the game here is not working on Mac, maybe on the controller. Yeah, something is definitely glitching out, and I may need to figure this out. Uh, but first, before we do anything, let's just save the game right here. Save the game. Alright, there we go. And now that we got this going, I think I'm gonna have to end up the episode right here for now. And when we come back in the next one, I am gonna try to figure out what exactly is happening with these objects that we are grabbing. And how we know what song we just learned, because I really don't know how to sing it on the piano. Alright, anyway... As usual guys, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Never Song. I really hope you enjoyed this game, and of course if you did, a like would be much appreciated, as that will let me know that you guys want to see more episodes of this, and of course that's also going to help the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you all enjoy. Alright, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!